Hello students, this is Praveen Agrawal, your maths teacher. And as you know that the JMA in 2024 results are out. And all of you who got good ranks in JMA, wish you uh, all the best for J Advance and many, many congratulations on securing seat into top engineering colleges in India like NITs and all based upon your JMA. Now, a lot of you might be thinking that what are my next steps and what are my choices in all the top engineering colleges in India based upon my J main rank. So in this video, we are going to discuss all of that, that what are your choices in all the NITs based upon last year's counseling data. Okay. So a couple of points that we are going to discuss in this video are. So a result of J 2024, how many students took the exam? Uh, what is the admission process, which is known as counseling process of all the engineering colleges in India, uh, government colleges, then what are NITs and based upon your rank, what are your options? If you ask me, what is one single video that you can watch, which gives you all the choices in all the NITs based upon your rank, it is that kind of video. So towards the end of this video, we will show you a video animation in which you will see all the colleges and branch combinations in the decreasing order of rank, which we have brought for you in a very nice visualization form. So uh, the total number of candidates which registered for both JME in January and April attempt for 14,76,000 roughly. And the students which appeared were about 14,15,000. Out of these 14,15,000 students, 2.5 lakh students are selected to write the J advanced exams. You know that JME is the exam for admission into NITs, triple IITs, other government funded technical institutes, as well as it acts as a screening exam for J advanced. So only the people who get good rank up to 2.5 lakh rank in J main are able to uh, write the J advanced exam based upon your category. So the cutoff percentile for the open category was 93 percentile. So if you have gotten below 93 percentile, you won't be eligible to write. Uh, J advanced if you belong to open category. The same for EWS which is economically weaker sections is 81 percentile that is general category economically weaker sections. Next is OBC uh, which has 79.67 percentile cut, cut off, SC is 60 percentile and ST roughly 46.69 percentile. So in your respectively uh, and the persons with disability the cut off is 0 0.0018 percentile. So if you got, have gotten a percentile below these, you won't be able to write J advance and on the rightmost column number of candidates which will appear in J advance, which are eligible to appear in J advance is also given. Now, uh, the name of the counseling is uh, the admission process called JOSA counseling. JOSA stands for Joint Seat Allocation Authority. So it is basically the joint counseling procedure for all the IITs all the NITs, all the triple ITs and all the uh, lot of government funded technical institutes in India. Earlier what used to happen is the IIT counseling was different and NIT counseling was different. And uh, because they were different, a lot of people might prefer top NITs, top branches versus a not so good or let's say a newly opened IIT, not so good branch. So uh, those seats used to go empty and they, uh, they had to you know, fill those seats using multiple rounds of counseling, which was uh, not a smooth process. Now, this joint counseling gives you the advantage of filling the choice in between. First, you may fill top uh, choices from IITs, then you can fill your top choices from NITs, and then in between you can fill remaining IIT choices, then in between you can fill triple IIT choices, all of that. So, it's a joint counseling, which is a very good avenue. Uh, it will start in June, mid to June end, uh, right after J advanced result is out. So you have a lot of time to research. So I will recommend that you start researching your dream colleges and branches based upon your rank. And we are going to help you out in figuring out that which branches might be available to you in terms of NITs in this video. Now for IITs, of course, the J advanced rank is used for final seat allocation and for NITs, triple IITs and other government funded technical institutes, J main rank is used. Now in this counseling, you fill all your choices in a particular preference order. Okay and the seats are allocated based upon your j rank so they will go to the air one all india rank one they will allocate their first preferred seat then they will go to the next person next person till the seats of a particular branch and college are filled so let us say nit trichy uh, computer science has only limited number of seats so after a certain rank you will stop getting those seats 
Now that rank is called closing rank. So that is going to be an important term which will be used throughout this video. Now it is mind boggling that there are more than 800 college and branch combinations in all the IITs, NITs, IIITs and GFTIs, GFTIs alone. In IITs there are 301 college and branch combinations and that is with respect to a particular category. So uh, for example if you belong to open category uh, male and uh, gender neutral uh, right so male uh, seats will be filled by gender neutral quota and there's something like female only quota also which we'll talk about a bit later then you have 301 choices so there are 23 iits and within those iits there are several branches now within the branch also there could be multiple type of seat allocation because let's say if you take iit bombay computer science there might be a btech only degree also or iit delhi computer science and there might be a dual degree btech plus mtech degree also so that's why these many combinations. In NIT, there are 275 college and branch combinations. Triple IT, 85 choices and government funded technical institutes, another 162 college and branch combinations. So you might be thinking, sir, how do I research these many choices? So uh, the good news is that you won't be eligible for all of these choices unless you have a very high rank. If only you are among, let's say, top 1000 to 2000 students. A lot of these choices will not be available to you. That is not to say that you should not fill those choices in your final counseling. But in this video, we are going to explain based upon your rank, what are your best choices. And ideally, you should fill as many choices as possible in the final counseling. Even if you have to fill all of these choices, you should not leave anything to chance. The worst thing that could happen is that you got a rank, a decent rank in JME, And because you filled less number of choices, you were not allocated any college and branch. That is very unfortunate. And despite several warnings, we have seen a strength to make this uh, mistake. So you should not do it. Now, what are the various quotas, categories and pools? So starting with the gender, uh, there are two kinds of seats, gender neutral seats, which you can say all the seats, including males and females. But uh, because the female uh, participation is lesser in engineering institutes, government decided to create extra seats for them. So for example, a certain percentage of seats is not filled by female candidates. Let's say there are 100 seats and out of which 10% of seats, let's say 10 seats are not filled by females. Uh, then they will create extra seats to, you know, uh, equal that representation so that the males are, do not feel disadvantaged. But at the same time, the females uh, have a little bit of advantage that even if they have got a lower, lower rank th than their male counterparts, they can get uh, that particular seat in college. Now, how many seats, supernumerary seats will have to be included? That will depend upon how many seats are naturally filled by the female candidates. So each year it may be different. That's why we have only taken general neutral seats in this video. Uh, different quota stands for AI stands for All India Quota. Now, all the IITs and IIITs only have All India Quota. While the NITs have 50% quota for their home state students and 50% quota for rest of the states called OS, that's called Other States Quota. So, for example, if you belong to a particular state, let's say uh, Karnataka, in that the NIT is NIT Surathkal. So, you will be eligible uh, for home state quota in NIT Surathkal and for rest of the NITs, you will be eligible for other state quota. And you have uh, mostly advantage in your home state because the number of seats for a particular state is more. So, even at a lower rank, you may get that college and branch uh, than other states. Now, you know the reservation system in India, uh, about 50% seats are for open category students, including open, which is also called general category, including the AWS, which is economically weaker sections. Next comes OBC, other backward caste, non creamy layer, uh, SC, uh, which has 27% reservation and SC and ST combined has about 22% reservation. And within each of these categories, you also have the uh, persons with disability quota also. Now, how many seats? are there of each category in each college that is mentioned on the JOSA website in the seat matrix section. A brief introduction about NITs, they are full form is National Institutes of Technology. Uh, earlier they used to be called Regional Engineering Colleges. They are institutes of national importance funded by Government of India. Uh, the entrance exam name is JMAIN which was earlier uh, called AIEEE All India Engineering Entrance Examination. J main stands for Joint Entrance Examination main. Now the oldest era RECs which were renamed uh, to NITs were opened between 1959 to 1967 and the oldest one is NIT Warangal which was opened in 1959. Now there are 
total 31 NITs, practically every state and a union territory, almost all the states and union territories have one NIT. Okay, their location in map is shown. And how many seats are there? Based upon last year's data, roughly 24,000 seats were there. The number was 23,900 something. And uh, till what rank in open category was friends able to get into an NIT? Roughly between 50 to 60,000 rank. So if you have scored better than 50,000 rank, then you will comfortably get a seat into one of the NITs. I'm not saying your desired, preferred NIT or branch, but you will get some NIT, some branch. So you should know that based upon what rank, which college you might get. Now, what if you have got rank beyond 50,000 to 1 lakh? So you will not get in an NIT, but you might get a seat into triple IT or one of the government funded technical institutes. So even if you have gotten a rank till 90,000, uh, then you might get a seat in one of the colleges through this JOSA counseling process. But in this video, we are going to specifically talk about NITs only. Now, how come uh, that despite having only 24,000 seats, even a student getting a 50,000 rank is able to get a seat into uh, NIT? It's based upon multiple factors. One of them is because it's joint counseling, a lot of people, if they are getting both IIT and NIT, they will prefer IIT over NITs. And there are roughly 17,000 seats into IITs. So a lot of people uh, will go to IITs among these top 50,000 people. Other than IITs, there are also uh, institutes like triple IITs, IASC Bangalore, which is uh, Indian Institute of Science, which is at par with top IITs, IASCRs, Indian Institutes of Science, Science Education and Research, Indian Institute of Space Technology, Thiruvananthapuram, uh, ISI Calcutta, which is Indian Statistical Institute, and Chennai Mathematical Institute. So a lot of people, if they are not getting, let's say, a very good NIT, very good branch, then they might prefer these colleges over a not so good NIT and branch. Despite uh, uh, these, there are uh, top uh, private engineering colleges also in each state and some good government engineering colleges also, which are state engineering colleges. So Karnataka may have their own top engineering colleges, Rajasthan may have their own, so like that. Some of these trends may even take a drop year. Suppose they are not satisfied with their rank. They took the JE main exam or the advanced exam with their 12th grade and they want to improve their rank or they want, they got a seat into, seat into NIT, but they didn't get a seat, to, seat into IIT. So they might want to prepare for another year. So they take, a, they take a drop year, some of these students. And a very small fraction also, they, if, despite taking JE main exam, they do not study in any university. So they drop out of the counseling process and they go to study abroad. Now comes the main part of the video where I will explain how to use this video to know what are your choices based upon uh, your rank. So the purpose of this video is to give you a rough idea of which college and branch combinations can you get based upon last year's GA counseling data. Now important disclaimer is that this last year's data is only suggestive and not a foolproof guarantee that you will get the college and branch at a particular rank. So the students are advised to fill as many choices as per your preference order and fill as many choices as possible, okay? You are responsible for your own career. Later on, you should not blame anyone else. Now, people will give you a lot of advices that you can prefer this branch. There is so much scope in this particular branch. This college is good. But ideally, you should talk to those people who have gone to those colleges. If you have someone in your family, then that's good. Otherwise, you can always contact your teachers who has gone to similar colleges to uh, get any suggestion. Okay, and please do not look at random suggestions. Also, you can look at the actual data based upon the JOSA website, the JMIN website and the particular NIT's website to see their placement statistics, to see what are the campus facilities, to see what are the course work like and what are their rankings in the international rankings as well as the national ranking frameworks. So we will help you figure all of that out that which are the top colleges which are preferred by the students. Now, a uh, couple of points which need to be explained is what are opening rank and closing rank? So, as I said it, all the students fill their preferences, mixed preferences, joint preferences of IITs and NITs. So, suppose most of the top students will fill, let's say, IITs. But let us say the students who will not be able to get IITs, they will start getting seats into NITs. So, if I take any particular NIT and branch example, let us say, uh, NIT Warangal Chemical Engineering. Okay, so of course that is not the people's most, most preferred choice. So below a certain rank, people won't prefer that as their first choice. So it will start uh, getting filled after a certain rank. That rank can be anywhere. I'm not mentioning that rank. And beyond a certain rank, 
you will stop getting that branch beyond a certain rank that branch will stop you will stop getting that branch if i take the example of iit bombay computer science everyone wants it but because it has limited seats not everyone gets it so the closing rank for iit bombay computer science was 67 okay that means if you have gotten 68 or beyond rank in open category gender neutral then you will not get iit bombay computer science can you imagine the plight of students who got 68 69 70 ranks that they got very good rank very good all India rank in J advance and still they were not able to get to their dream college and branch. Okay, so that is your closing rank. Now opening ranks are a bit random for a multiple of factors. Suppose if you belong to a particular state, then even if you might get uh, computer science in other top NITs, you might prefer your own state NIT. So it may open at a very high rank, but closing rank is that rank beyond which you will stop getting that college and branch. So you should always look for closing rank and not opening rank. Opening rank is as far as I know useless. So you should not even, the only use might be that if you feel that opening rank is uh, very, very low, that means that branch is not being preferred by too many top students. So you should look for better branches if you have gotten a better rank. So uh, you will get a college or branch near to the closing rank last year. Suppose you got 15,000 rank into JME. Then how to use this video in this video? which I will show later the animation, you should look for closing ranks plus minus 2000 uh, at your rank. So you should look for ranks between 13,000 to let's say uh, 17, 18,000. These are the probabilistically possibility of choices that you might get. And I have already given disclaimer that that is not a guarantee that you will get uh, a particular branch if you got it last year. Year on year, this data might change a little bit, but it doesn't change too much either. Now, a lot of you might feel that, sir, why does it matter that what people filled last year? Because most people fill the choices based upon last year's data. The same was the case 20 years ago and the same is the case today. And you might feel that, sir, it's head mentality. Isn't it head mentality or isn't it like wisdom of the masses? To that I say, yes, to a certain extent, you are right. But there is nothing wrong with the wisdom of the masses. You will find very high correlation between these closing ranks order, last year's order and the placement statistics of these colleges. I'm not saying that's the only factor, but you will find a strong correlation. There's a very uh, statistical difference between correlation and causation, which I won't explain in this video. But if you don't have any strong preference for a branch, then uh, you should, uh, you can very much go with the order that is mentioned in this video, or that is there on the official website, which people preferred last year. That is one thing. Uh, another thing is that suppose if you are very much passionate about computer science, but you are not getting computer science into any of the top 10 or even 20 NITs, but you are getting some other branch, let us say mathematics or electronics in the top NITs or versus you are getting uh, computer science into a very bottom NIT, then you should not compromise too much on the college also because college also matters a lot. So it's not a question of whether you should prefer college absolutely or whether you should prefer a branch absolutely. It's a matter of combination of college and branch. You should not compromise on college too much if you uh, decide upon a branch, which I will show you with data also. Now, you might uh, ask that, sir, shouldn't we always got our interest and passion? Frankly, uh, passion is driven a lot by perception and not the actual facts and data. So most of you have studied physics, chemistry and math, but most of you might not have any idea of what entails civil engineering. What are, what are the career choices after mechanical engineering and things are getting more and more interdisciplinary nowadays. Even all the top, top tech companies are open for placement for any branch. If you are good at coding, good at programming, they will take you irrespective of your branch. That's why both college and branch matter. It's a combination of both that they should, you, you should prefer. Though if you have a certain passion, then you can compromise a couple of colleges based upon rank, but not too many colleges. So. To get a particular branch, you may go two or three colleges below based upon the ranking, but not compromise too much. All right. Now, based upon last year's data, the list of top 10 NITs. Now, I'm not claiming that these are very, this is a very objective criteria because you will see several other rankings also like NIRF ranking, National Institute ranking framework or QS rankings. This data is purely based upon what the student preferred in the JE counseling. 
okay and in the particular order so this data is totally based upon the what students preferred most nits so the top preferred nits was nit trichy surat khal warangal next are raurkela alabad jaipur calicut nagpur kurukshetra and surat in the right you are seeing a computer science closing rank that is if you get a rank within the first 1500 into jme there is a high chance that you will get nit trichy computer science if you belong to any state so these are other state uh, closing ranks okay nit surat khal till roughly 2000 rank you might get nit warangal you might get till 2500 rank uh, all these are computer science closing ranks okay nit raurkela till 3700 rank alaba till roughly 4700 rank jaipur till roughly 5000 rank so can you see calicut 5000 256 after that you see a jump so you can see that these top 7 nits are their are in their own league people prefer them over all the other nits next are nagpur kurukshetra and surat there is again a jump from 7000 to 9000 closing rank between the next set of nits which are jamshedpur bhopal delhi so if you have gotten a rank under uh, beyond 10000 then you will not get there is a high chance that you will not get computer science in these top 14 nits Okay, but the good news is that if you have gotten a rank into ten uh, thousand, even if you have gotten, let's say, somewhere between five thousand to ten thousand rank, you might not get top seven NITs, but you may get the next six to seven NITs. Now, for top, for what is the rank that is required in order to get computer science in the top twenty NITs? Roughly thirteen to fourteen thousand. And uh, at what rank? Till what rank do you get any NIT? Computer science. Even till thirty thousand uh, rank, you might get a seat into computer science of any NIT. But as you can see, that these are very less preferred NITs. People will rather go take some other branch in the top NITs rather than taking computer science in these NITs. So that is my case in point that you should not compromise too much purely because of one branch. You should look at the college also. Which were the most preferred branches based on last year's data? The most preferred branch was computer science, and next is mathematics. especially nit warangal mathematics so since the advent of data science machine learning and artificial intelligence the mathematics branch has become more relevant than ever so it is now closing even beyond uh, even above electronics and electrical uh, engineering and branch such branches next is electrical electro electronics instrumentation mechanical chemical physics and related branches civil engineering metallurgy and material sciences mining biotech and biosciences chemistry food technology and manufacturing sciences including textile etc so students now coming to the main part of the video where we will show you based upon josa 2023 six round all the nits all the branches closing ranks okay in this video we will see open category both home state and other state data only for general neutral open category so if you want similar videos for iits Triple ITs or other government funded technical institutes, please write it in the comments. And if you want such videos for other categories also, uh, then also please mention it, mention it in the comments. The source for the data is uh, given here in the description. And without further ado, let's begin the video. Before beginning the video, let me again explain how can you use this video. So suppose you get an X Y Z rank. and this video is in the decreasing order of ranks so you go let's say some 2 3000 ranks uh, above that rank let us say you got 15000 rank, uh, rank then you can start looking at this video from about 12 to 13000 rank and watch up to 20000 rank so these are your possible choices these are the colleges and uh, ranks uh, branches that you are looking for the closer it is to your uh, rank the, the closing rank if it is closer to your rank then your probability of getting that college and branch is much higher and that is more optimal all right so as all of you know that the most preferred nit is nit trichy whose computer science closes at uh, 1500 something rank let me go to the starting of the video again nit trichy csc btech os stands for other state closes at rank 1509 okay next is your NIT Surat Khal CSC BTEC closes at 1900. Warangal CSC BTEC other state opens at 2400. Now, how to use OS and HS? If you belong to a particular state, you have given your 12th grade from that state, then you should look at the home state rank of that. And for all the other NITs, you should look for OS date. 
so i am only going to more focus on os data other state data so in this video both are given surathkal ai warangal cac home state surathkal it then you have raurkela cac surathkal computer warangal maths and computing warangal maths and computing for home state nit trichy ece alabad cac jaipur cac this is home state calicut cac so we are at roughly 5000 marks so if you have gotten a rank better than 5000 then you are getting top 5 6 7 nits computer science branch if you are any state student let us see what are the choices for 5 to 10000 type students this is nit surathkal it home state quota next is surathkal ai jaipur cac home state Warangal ECE. These are home state seats. Next is Jaipur AI. Warangal ECE home state. Trichy Tripoli other state. Raurkela ECE other state. Nagpur CSE home state. Jaipur AI DS home state. Warangal ECE other state. Nagpur CSE other state. Warangal ECE home state. Trichy ECE home state. Surathkal ECE home state. Kurukshetra Computer Engineering, other state. Surat CSC, other state. Surat CSC Home State. Raurkela CSC Home State. Suratkal Tripoli, other state. Allahabad EC Home State. Jamshedpur CSC, other state. Allahabad EC, other state. Kurukshetra AIML, other state. Warangal Tripoli, other state. Calicut EC, other state. Bhopal CSC, other state. Kurukshetra IT, other state. Suratkal Tripoli Home State. Trichy Tripoli Home State. Delhi CSC other state, Raurkela EC home state, Kurukshetra Computer Engineering home state, Durgapur CSC other state. If I talk, take a pause here and notice that between 5000 and 10000 ranks, you are getting branches like electrical, electronics, etc. in top five, six, seven NITs, and computer science is the next set of, uh, let's say, NITs ranked from eight to fourteen or fifteen. So if you got a rank between five thousand to ten thousand, your prospects are you will get uh, a top NIT, but not computer science, but uh, next best branch like maths or electrical electronics or AIML kind of branches. And into top uh, next set of NITs, the mid NITs, you are getting computer science. Now I'll just let this video play. If you have any doubts, you can ask it in the comment section.
So now we are at roughly 50,000 mark and you see that uh, here mostly the NITs are the bottom NITs and you will see that the other state quota OS in the end is getting rare and rare and mostly they are home state seats which are specific very specific to only those state people though if you ask me what is the last rank at which a, a student got an NIT based upon other state quota that was roughly around 59,000 but that may change this year so uh, again please take this video as a only a guideline and not a short short guarantee of getting a seat
Now beyond this point, you will stop getting any other state seat. All of them are only home state seats. So I'll let this video play just so that if you belong to that particular state, then you can look at Labato at the closing rank for your home state. This is for Goa. GeoGo stands for Goa. So you see, you are seeing very high rank, but these are only for the respective home state friends. So basically, the policy is that the home state seat cannot be given to other state students. So the states, let's say the northeastern states where the population is low and the seats are good, uh, but those home state seats cannot be given to any of the other state students. So even if you have not got a very good rank, you might get a seat into NIT and a policy is a policy you have to follow certain rules and guidelines so all of this is because of that but as i have already told you that other state seats for example if you talk about nit mizoram or nit uh, let's say arunachal pradesh then until you are a resident of arunachal you have taken your 12th from arunachal or mizoram you won't get a seat beyond 50 60000 rank so all of these ranks beyond 60000 are not useful for everyone but only for the particular state students. LA stands for Ladakh. All right. So, uh, if you want similar videos for IITs, etc., please write it in the comments. As a closing remark, I would say that Mahajano Yen Gatahasa Pantha. This is a Sanskrit uh, line which whose meaning is follow the path which was traversed by the great people. With that, all the best to the students who got good ranks in JMIN and we'll keep making such videos as to what are the various career choices uh, based upon each branch. So the purpose of this video was that you make an informed choice and to not make any mistakes which you may regret in the long run. At the same time, you are responsible for your own choices. So please do not anyone else for the choices that you're going to fill. And if you need our help at any point of time, we'll be more than happy to do that. All the best people.